In this video we're going to talk about estrogenics. So these are environmental estrogens that are going to disrupt your hormones. So the information in this video comes from this book, Estrogeneration. And we're going to talk about how heightened estrogen can negatively affect your health and what to do about it. So how to avoid these. Now, when I first read this book, there's so much that you have to change and that you have to implement that it seems quite overwhelming. So I'm hoping for me, especially in making this video, I will retain some more of the information and pick up a few more points. So you'll probably think, well, I've got to completely overhaul everything about my life just to avoid these estrogens. But I would recommend implementing one or two points at a time. And now that I've gone through this list again, I can see where I've I've made change. So grass fed meat, for example, I don't have to worry about that now. I can work on the next one. So don't stress yourself out trying to change everything or if there's certain things you have to keep in for dietary requirements then keep it but this is just mainly planting seeds to help you notice that these things might be affecting your hormones so as always do your own research but this is just me trying to teach what i've learned so that i can retain it a bit better so what are estrogenics so estrogenics are chemicals that mimic estrogen and bind to estrogen receptors and these estrogen receptors can be found all throughout the body. So what is estrogen? Estrogen is a group of hormones that play essential roles in the development and functioning of the female reproductive system and the secondary sexual characteristics in females. In both men and women we have estrogen and testosterone and they kind of work together in balance and if that goes out of balance you start getting health issues. Now, as far as I can tell, these health issues are going to be worse for men. If your estrogen is high and your testosterone is low, you're really going to notice it. And I'm guessing women can get away with higher estrogen, but it's still not good to have artificially changed hormone balances. You just want it to be natural. So when you're adding these chemicals from your environment, it's going to put that out of balance. So negative health effects of exposure to estrogens include depression, obesity, infertility, hormonal imbalances, reproductive issues, lower testosterone and certain cancers. So like with my sleep video, sleep affects all your hormones so that's going to affect weight gain and if you're trying to lose weight it's going to make that harder. And it mentions in the book with, with the sleep it affected ghrelin and leptin which are the satiety and hunger hormones and leptin is mentioned in here as well. So when you push your balance when you push your hormones out of balance you're going to end up affecting these hunger hormones so even just something as simple as trying to lose weight it's going to be harder if your estrogen is elevated in the book there's a list of the 10 most common environmental estrogens so i'll just read that list now number one phytoestrogens these are plant estrogens found at high levels in plants like soy flax lavender and cannabis number two mycoestrogens these are fungus estrogenics arising from fungal contamination especially in grains and peanuts atrazine this is a herbicide estrogenic and i also know that glyphosate isn't good i'm not sure if this is an estrogenic but it's a herbicide or a pesticide that you're going to want to avoid triclosan and apes these are soap estrogenics hidden in soaps and other cleaning products BP and 4MBC, these are sunscreen estrogenics found in most cheap sunblock lotions and hand soaps. Red number 3 and 40, the artificial food colour estrogenics, found in red coloured processed foods and beverages. Parabens, the fragrance estrogenics, hidden in cosmetics especially where under the word fragrance. Phthalates, the plastic additive estrogens, these are going to be found in plastic containers and water bottles. BPA and BPS, bisphenol A and S, the plastic ingredient estrogenics. EE2, the birth control estrogenic, oral contraceptive ingredients that mimic natural estrogen. So this is where the artificially high levels of estrogen are going to come from the environment. And the author has written a list of how to avoid these. Now he's done this in three different plans so it's obviously quite hard to implement everything at once but I'm just going to read the list of things you should do if you're trying to avoid 
estrogens from your environment to the best of your ability and then you can add or take away certain things so this is your plan to avoid estrogens avoid ingredients that include bens or feen eliminate dietary grains including all corn products eliminate dietary peanuts cheap coffee and cheap chocolate eliminate liquid dairy products and less grass fed and in glass eliminate butter and less grass fed eliminate all dietary liquids stored in plastic especially oils eliminate fragrances in all personal care products eliminate fragrances in laundry detergent and dryer sheets travel and sleep with a pillowcase washed without fragrance eliminate processed foods eliminate plastic shower curtains eliminate vinyl flooring and tiling wallpaper and plastic countertops avoid standard industrial bathroom hand soaps avoid cannabis avoid candles except beeswax avoid plastics in your environment including plastic toys eliminate carpets Elim <laughs> eliminate carpets or use green label plus certified carpets avoid foods canned in metal only eat wild seafood from pristine waters and this wants to be seafood from low down in the food chain like sardines because they don't accumulate as much mercury only eat grass fed organic meats preferably in wax paper only eat grass fed organic animal fats with no plastic contacts only eat free range chicken eggs pastured use charcoal filtered water for all drinking and cooking use charcoal filtered water for showering use all glass and or stainless steel coffee makers use estrogenic free cleaning products use estrogenic free kids toys especially chewable items use estrogenic free zinc sunscreen avoid moldy environments eliminate soy and soy byproducts eliminate flax eliminate lavender products eliminate oral contraceptives eliminate plastic cups sippies or plastic lined mugs eliminate artificial red food dyes including finger paints eliminate microwaving food in plastics and just eliminate microwaving foods at all so that's the comprehensive list on how to avoid the majority of the estrogens you're going to come in contact with from your environment like i say it's quite hard to implement those things but it's just something to be mindful one that i think was mentioned in the book but it wasn't on that list is it was probably under the bpa actually but receipts from shops are going to contain estrogens and it's quite significant i think and even thermal labels so for in some jobs you'll be having to stick on thermal labels so it's any time the paper is printed using like a heater essentially it heats the the words onto the paper so and that's i'm pretty sure it's bpa but that's one you're going to want to avoid so when you get offered the receipt at the shop that's going to be one you you'd probably want to turn down if you want to avoid estrogens in that way so I'll just run through some of the other points I came across in the book. They might be a repeat of what he said in that list, but this is just what I've, I've taken from the book. Eat real, unprocessed, whole organic foods. And another point is, you are what you eat, and you are what the animal you eat ate, or the food you're eating is exposed to. So if you're eating a corn product that was exposed to glyphosate or you're eating honey and the bees have been taking pollen from uh, plants that have had glyphosate sprayed on them then you are consuming glyphosate likewise if you eat an animal that has been injected with hormones and antibiotics to keep it alive in poor conditions then you are consuming that so that's why you want grass-fed animals glyphosate free honey and organic so that's free from herbicides and pesticides supplement with cod liver oil lose body fat so estrogen is stored in body fat so as a man especially you can lower your body fat is going to help increase testosterone because it's removing estrogen from the body sauna in 20 minute sessions infrared is better than a normal steam sauna to purge estrogens fasting is also good 
and combining the two, fast and then sauna, is very good. Find a good estrogenics free company, do your research and support it. So once you find a company that provides good, good products, for example, I'm looking for a toothbrush that hasn't got plastic bristles and I know they use um, boar's hair for toothbrushes, but I just can't find one. But when I find a supplier that does, then you support that supplier and just keep buying from the same place. Eliminate sunscreen. Eliminate artificial red food colorings. Atrazine and glyphosate is bad. DHA is good for kids, and that's fatty fish and cod liver oil. And then you're gonna to wanna to find estrogenics free soap cleaning products, including toothpaste and non-plastic toothbrushes. So that's estrogenics, quite a lot to take in and implement, but it's just worth considering. So hope that helps, see you tomorrow.